O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> Who are these like stars appearing, these before God's throne who stand? Each a golden crown is wearing, who are all this glorious band? Alleluia, hark they sing, praising loud the heavenly King. These are they who have contended for their Saviour's honour long. Resting on till life was ended, following not the sinful throng. These who well the fight sustained, triumph through the Lamb have gained. These your priests have watched and waited, offering up to Christ their will. Soul and body consecrated, day and night to serve him still. Now in God's most holy place, bless they stand before his face. You cannot serve both God and wealth. Hear this, all you peoples, give heed all who dwell in the world. Men both low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom, my heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable, with the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? Men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He can buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever. Their dwelling place from age to age, though their name spread wide through the land. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, give praise forever. Amen. You cannot serve both God and wealth. Store up treasure for your souls in heaven, says the Lord. This is the Lord of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep that are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning they are out which all vanishes, 
and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below, though he flattered himself while he lived. Men will praise me for all my success, yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light any more. In his riches man lacks wisdom, he is like the beasts that are destroyed. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, Give praise for every man. Store up treasure for your souls in heaven, says the Lord. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive glory and honour. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed men for God, from every tribe and tongue, and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and wealth, and wisdom and might, and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive glory and honour. Now I have something to tell your elders. I am an elder myself and a witness to the sufferings of Christ. And with you I have a share in the glory that is to be revealed. Be the shepherds of the flock of God that is entrusted to you. Watch over it not simply as a duty but gladly. Because God wants it, not for sordid money, but because you are eager to do it. Never be a dictator over any group that is put in your charge. But be an example that the whole flock can follow. When the chief shepherd appears, you will be given the crown of unfading glory. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. He laid down his life for his brothers. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. The Lord says, What you did to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did to me. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts for his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. 
He fills us starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel's servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. The Lord says, What you did to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did to me. Let us pray to Christ the High Priest, who was appointed to represent men in their relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Lord, save your people. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Lord, save your people. In the presence of their brothers, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Lord, save your people. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Lord, save your people. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life, and no one can steal them from you. Save the faithful departed, for whom you laid down your life. Lord, save your people. At the Saviour's command, and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you endowed Saint Vincent de Paul with the spirit of an apostle to give himself to the service of the poor and to the training of priests. Give us a share in, of the same Spirit, that we may love what he loved, and do as he taught us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.